Good evening. It is Bill Sachs on behalf of Emmanuel Episcopal Church in Della Plaine, Virginia, welcoming you to Wednesday evening service of Compline. Bill Sachs, uh, representing Emmanuel Episcopal Church in Della Plaine, Virginia, on a gray and cold late January evening. We're here for the weekly service of Compline, using the service of Compline from the Episcopal Church's Book of Common Prayer. I want to welcome you this evening. I always begin each week with a bit of reflection upon a passage from the Bible, and uh, almost always it's a passage that will be used uh, this coming Sunday in the church's worship. This time, I would like to make note of the gospel for this upcoming Sunday. The gospel is from the first chapter of Mark, verses 21 to 28. It tells the story of Jesus going to Capernaum, where he's going to speak in the synagogue. Jesus going to speak in the synagogue at Capernaum an ancient city on the north end of the Sea of Galilee. The, it, it is quite a tourist attraction today to get to Capernaum, quite a place to visit. Uh, and the ruins of the synagogue are there. And it appears that the synagogue was quite a large and perhaps lavish place. And Jesus goes to speak there, but he's confronted by a man who is described as having an unclean spirit. Jesus is confronted by this man who seems to be out of his mind, we might say. He is said to have an unclean spirit. And yet, Jesus casts the spirit out of the man. And people are amazed. People marvel because um, they cannot believe that uh, Jesus could cure this man. We know that throughout his, his ministry, Jesus will cure a number of people. I got a different insight on this whole business of healing and being cured, and especially on this business of unclean spirits. I was talking to a friend today he was reminiscing a bit, telling me about why he went to the college that he attended. And he said, you know, when I was a senior in high school and I went to visit the college I eventually attended, there was something about it. The teachers and the students I talked with, they seemed to see potential in me. They seemed to see that I was capable of things that I didn't realize I was capable of. They drew me out. They saw the potential in me. Well, in a very different sort of way, but along the same lines, the man with the unclean spirit has untapped human potential that Jesus Christ sees in him. Jesus saw the potential in the man with the unclean spirit. So Mark chapter 1, verses 21 to 28 is telling us a very important story, not simply about Jesus' ability to cure, and specifically Jesus' ability to address the issues of people possessed by unclean spirits. But even more, it was Jesus' ability to see that even a man whose behavior and manner were very gruff and insulting and confrontive, even a man like this had potential that could be tapped. It doesn't always work. We can't always do it. We can't always get through to the real person beneath the veneer. But many times we can, especially when we see the potential and we try. So I urge us all in a time of anger and division to reach beneath the unclean spirits and to reach for the human potential that lies within. And now for our service of Compline, it is found of course on page 127 in the Episcopal Church's Book of Common Prayer. 
The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Psalm number 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. From Matthew chapter 11. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep 
and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pause now to offer our prayers for those who are ill and especially those who suffer from the novel coronavirus. And now we must speak of its, its variants, its variations. We pray for those healthcare workers who are in constant contact with people infected by this, this insidious illness. We pray for all those also who are affected by the illness, the loved ones of people suffering from the illness, and especially the loved ones who have died because of this disease. We pray for those dear and near to us who have tested positive and who suffer from the illness, we pray for them a speedy recovery from this disease. And we pray also for the speedy vaccination of all Americans that we may be spared this illness. Dear Lord, watch over those who suffer and are affected by this disease in particular. And now we conclude, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia. This has been Bill Sachs on behalf of Emmanuel Episcopal Church in Della Plain, Virginia. Each Wednesday at 6 p.m., I offer the service of Compline from the Episcopal Church's Book of Common Prayer. It's my pleasure to be with you. I will be with you next Wednesday. May God keep you safe.